Hello everyone, and welcome back to Time Plays Your Escape Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. In time, this is Your Escape Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. And in the last episode, we reached a rather unpleasant ending. And then went through the eighth door with Lotus and Clover before Clover got trapped in here. Uh, with bulletproof windows, apparently. And in this episode, we're gonna get her out. Junpei, do something, please. Quick, figure out how I'm gonna get out of here. I didn't know Spacebar also examines things. That's interesting. Does that do anything? Uh, I just want to look at that grate. That's a puzzle. Those lockers are a little larger than the ones I've been taught. Let's see if there's anything useful in here. And no, nothing. <coughs> Ethanol? Okay. There, there's nothing else. Well, I guess that's all there is. Whole bunch of steel lockers. The nine on the right all have red lights on them. Red lights, huh? Well, can't hurt to give these babies a try. And they're all locked, just as I thought. All nine of them. I wonder if there's anything important in there. Mm. This is a computer. Power is not on. Well, there's a power button. This is a waste of time. What? I don't see a power cable. Oh, you're right. There is no power cable. There's no way we could turn it on. This thing isn't even connected to a main computer, though. It's got a monitor, monitor keyboard, mouse, but that's it. Just sticking a power cable in isn't going to do anything. Oh, I don't know about that. Where, where am I? Okay. Boxes. Papers and stuff. What's in the boxes? They look quite full. As far as I know, it's a bunch of notes or some kind of experiments, but it's all really technical and stuff. I don't really get it. Okay. on the clock have stopped moving. The clock may have stopped, but time goes on. No time to screw around. We need to figure out a way out of here. There must be some kind of way out of here. It's a keyhole. This looks like a keyhole for the activation key. A real old type of keyboard. I think there's some power at that machine in the other room. Well, it doesn't appear to be do well. It doesn't appear to be doing that. Wonder how we're gonna turn it on. I wonder how we're gonna turn it on. I should have looked at the buttons too. No, okay, cool. There's a lot of stuff here. I don't know how we could use any of these though. Mm, well, I can say for sure that I do know how to use at least one of these things. Which one? One on top. I think it's a power cable. <laughs> it's a power cable, huh? You know how to use that? I'll take that. Three prong. Uh, it's white. Of course it's three pronged. It's got a ground. I at least know that much. Uh, oh yeah, you can use a keyboard. This looks like the controls have some kind of an electric lock. The red light's on, so it must be locked. There's a green light just below it, although that one isn't lit. It'll turn on if we can unlock it, right? Yeah, but how are we going to unlock it? Maybe we need to do something first. It's my keyboard card reading my keyboard and then put in a password. Mm, no idea. Controls are not and it's locked, and we can't unlock it. Hey, Clover, there's a door over here too. Wait, I'll be right there. You can hear her over there. Is this door turn? Hmm. 
darn it. I can't open it. Clover, what about on your side? It won't. It won't work. I can't even move the knob. I don't know what kind of table it is, but part of it's all black. There's a pen lying over here. I think someone probably used it to make the ta make the table play. Mm, well, if they only use the pen on one part of it, that's prob there's probably something underneath all that pen. Clover, you think you can erase it? Yeah, sure. Oh, this is permanent marker. Junpei, do you know how to erase ink from a permanent mar- ethanol? If I had to guess. Erase ink from permanent marker, huh? Give me just a minute, Clover. I'll be right back. Great tables been play with the play. If I could find something that could work. Through the bars. Got it. Clover, use this ethanol. I should be able to wipe off that permanent ink with it. What am I gonna wipe with? Oh well, your clothes, your clothes. Please don't look at me like that, you screwed me. <laughs> I was only joking because I'm Junpei and I'm insensitive. <sighs> so I've gotta combine it with a rag. Oh, did she take the ethanol? No, oh, she could take it. Is this like. An examination table? There's a creepy mannequin in here, guys. It's going to attack me. Those are the stairs I just came down from. The bars in the gate are just above me, even though you can't see them. It's a rack. I'm happy now. There are a bunch of cables on it. Someone do cut the outer stuff off the ta cables. I can see the wires inside. Interesting. I wonder what, was wa what they washed here. There are these weird colored stains all over the sink. I think this thing is a monitor for whatever experiment they were running here. There's a bunch of stuff on here like resistance values and voltages. The power's off so there's nothing on it right now. I guess this drain is for the water, huh? Well, there's nothing here. I wonder what this is. This thing up here looks like a volt voltmeter. And is it a control for that? Gosh, there's just so many dials. Why don't you try turning one of them on? Uh, nope, nothing. There's no power here, guys. I turned the dial a whole bunch, but even if I turn all of the switches on, nothing happens. I have to use the power. Wait, it's letting me. Oh no, it always lets me do that. Oh. Keyboard. The mouse. This monitor doesn't have a power cable, so one end of the cable needs to be connected to a monitor, the other needs to be plugged in under the desk. Hmm. Let's just slip you in. Huh? Oh shoot, I can't use this. What's wrong now, Junpei? This cable has three pogs, but the socket only has two holes. It's not gonna fit, is what I'm saying. In other words, we're gonna need a plug to char change the power cable from one with two. We're gonna need a plug to change the power cable to one with two prongs. That's right. Okay, there's nothing in there. Darn, if she gives me cables now, I'm gonna be annoyed. No, it's just copper wire. Nothing here. There are two levers here. You think they activate something? Well, why don't you move them? Alright, 
Let's give this a try. And nothing. Doesn't look like anything happened. Stand for various pieces of equipment, some of them might be useful. <laughs> Thanks, Captain Obvious. What is that? Clover, can you use the cloth on- oh. It was that easy? Okay. Use- huh? Soak it in ethanol, and then use it to wash off all of the permanent marker, okay? Right, okay. So I gotta soak the cloth with ethanol. Well, she's got the cloth, but she seems to be having a little trouble with the bottle of ethanol. She's ready, I should ask her to get to work on that stuff on the table. Soak the cloth in ethanol and... Junpei, it's working. It's wiping out the permanent ink. Huh? There's some kind of weird drawing under the permanent ink. What's the deal with the drawing Clover found? Maybe I should ask her to take another look at the... Why, why can't... Mm. I wonder what this is. There are a bunch of numbers in some kind of grid. Is it a magic square? I can't see it from here. Clover, you got a pen and a notebook, right? Did you write those numbers down and hand them to me through the bars? Okay. Roger. Bars. Here, Junpei. I wrote down all of the numbers from the desk here. There were numbers on it required. New material has been added to the file screen. Oh, how do I even get to the file screen? File. Here's my root clover stuff. No clover copied. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. I don't think they know what hint means. Turn. I looked at everything. No, okay, cool. I don't I don't know what else would be a tic tac toe grid other than these things. It's not an item. It's not an item. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that note. Something sticking out of the mannequin's head. Like wires or something. What are they doing in there? Huh? Why is she so quiet? They were doing experiments on humans. Probably. Oh man. Now she looks sad. Oh. Uh, I can't really fit very well for me. I'm going to bend a blood through it, stick them in its head. Hey Clover, how are the power cables over there? Huh? What do you mean? Does the plug have three prongs or two? Uh. I don't know what you're talking about. Let me go look. She does have to kind of crouch down to look under there. The cable on the monitor has a... Uh, it's got two of the little metal things. What does that mean? That's it. Okay, can you unplug that cable and bring it over here? Uh, okay, but... But? Well, I can unplug it, but it's connected to the main computer. I can't take it over to you. Oh, that's no good then. Well, how about just the plug? What? The... Plug? Well, maybe more like a uh, connector. It's a sort of thing that makes the plug with the three metal thingies and the plug with two metal thingies. Still useless? Not useless, not useless at all. That's just what we were looking for. Okay. Can you hold on for a little bit? And back down she goes. Alright, unplugged. I'll hand it to you over through the bars, okay? I love going to the bars every four minutes. Here you go, the two-pronged plug. Thanks. 
Okay, put the two prong plug in the head of the power cable and you get a two prong power cable. Wow, wowee. Alright, I've got a two prong power cable in my hand. I'm pretty sure this will work. Under the desk I go, and it's just a plug from here. Alright, this ought to do it. Now, right, let's turn the power on. I don't think anything's gonna happen. Why not? Oh, it's not connected to the main to the main computer. Never know until you try. It's pretty optimistic. Oh, that worked. What? Why are we making a directory? Huh? It's running on its own. It certainly looks like it. Uh, isn't that kind of weird? What? Well, it's not connected to the main computer, right? Don't you try to tell me this is telepathy between machines, Lotus. I'm, 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 not, I'm not ready for that. There's just this keyboard and monitor. The only cable connected to this thing is the power cable we just plugged in. It had a power cable the entire time. What are you talking about? So, why is it working? Maybe it's a wireless display. Uh, a wireless display? Yes, it connects to your computer wirelessly, hence the name. This place is old for that. Have you been living in a cave, Junpei? Is that normal? Yes, at least where I worked. Oh. Oh, it stopped. <sighs> I mean, I guess it's... Wireless and machine telepathy are basically the same thing. It turns out I was ready for it. Pass with a colon. Looks like we need to enter a password. Yeah? Again? Uh, there must be a hint around here somewhere. Could you go take a look? Yeah, I'm on it. What are you going to do? I'll see if I can do something about this on my own. On your own? Yep, on my own. Are you a big tech person? Because that's really interesting. I didn't expect that if you are. Lotus? Mm. All right. Let's kick some ass. Isn't like 3795 based on that thing? What's her face gave us? Uh. <laughs> Wait, what? Didn't expect that, did you? Of course I didn't! You're typing so fast, I, I can't even see your fingers! What kind of job do you have? What are you? Unless she's like a. Sten is it a stenographer? Is that the right word? Or, like, someone who, uh, records what's said for court or meetings or something. Anything like that. She might be that, but it looks like she's clearly, uh, very computer literate. I'm unemployed at the moment. I used to work for a cybersecurity firm, but I quit. Okay. Better than me at computers, then. Why? Huh? Oh. Um. It was just. something. It was just something. Don't worry about it. I see. Hmm. Oh, uh, what are you doing now? I'm going to try and brute force it. Brute what? A brute force attack is. Well, the short version is that I just attack the thing head on. The long version? A brute force attack is one of the simplest ways to break a cipher. Mm -hmm. It checks every possible combination until it finds the right one. For a complex cipher, it can take a very long time. Like how I could have just brute forced the, uh... In an alternate timeline, experiment on you, mental map, whatever. I could have just brute forced it, but no, I tried to solve that and it took longer than just brute forcing it would have because I didn't realize that hint didn't mean hint, it meant 
Just do this, dummy. I'm writing a program that would run an attack like that on its own. It's not the most elegant solution, certainly. But given the circumstances, there isn't much else I can do. Oh, but back to what we were talking about earlier. What were we talking about? The wireless display. It's kind of strange if you think about it, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> How do I put it? Well, let's say you write a program that calculates an addition problem for you, all right? Yeah, simple enough. So you enter one plus one. The screen will show you two. See? Isn't that strange? Uh, no, not really. Oh, come on now. Of course a caveman like you would think it was strange. You said so just a minute ago. Hmm? You're just not getting it, are you? I'm not. Who calculated one plus one? The computer? The, uh, the, the main computer, right? You said it connected to the monitor wirelessly. Yeah, but someone who grew up in a cave wouldn't know that, right? They'd probably think that this thing here, the monitor, is doing the calculating. And once they've decided that, they'll start examining this monitor. They might poke the screen or something. Ah, I see the color changes when I press it here. Then they might investigate the hardware on the inside. Oh, I see. So this wire supplies the power. Eventually, they might even cut the wires. Ah, yes. Just as I expected. When this wire is cut, no results appear. Therefore, it must be this device which does the calculations. Oh. But the truth is that, just like you said, the computer is doing the calculating. But these cave people wouldn't know that. Any sufficiently advanced technology is like magic? Is that what you're going for? Because they have no idea that the monitor and the computer are connected wirelessly. So, uh, what are you trying to say? Nothing, really. It's just, I thought, maybe. What if the relationship between human beings and our brains is like that? Huh? You've lost me again, Lotus, as usual. Well, let's say you stick a bunch of electrodes into parts of the brain. Oh, God. A scientist examining the signals they send out might say, Hmm, interesting. So stimulating this part of the brain causes the person to see colors. That must mean this neuron cluster controls that function. Okay, let's see what happens when I cut out this part. Ah, just what I thought. Cutting off this part causes that function to cease. Therefore, human thought processes must occur in the human brain. The brain is the power, but the thoughts go on somewhere else. Something like that. That's a real interesting thing that I did not ever think of. And I don't know how important that is. But that, what? Existential crisis. See? Doesn't it sound the same? Yeah. Mmm. Uh. Yeah. Maybe the brain is just an output device. Like this monitor. Uh. Maybe our thought processes actually occur somewhere else. In a main body. Maybe we are just all a hive mind. Beep boop. We just don't know it. We never even think about it. Just like those cave people wouldn't know about wireless communications. We can't imagine that there's some unknown medium that transfers information into our brains where we experience that information as thoughts. Um... The brain is just an output device. Human thought actually occurs somewhere else. <laughs> that's just crazy talk. Maybe that's the cause of Seven's amnesia. If memory is actually stored somewhere else, in some sort of main body somewhere, maybe he hasn't forgotten anything at all. He's just having a difficult time accessing his memories because the monitor, his brain, has been damaged. Hmm. That also works, huh? Huh. I suppose that would explain aphasia and blindsight, too. Mm hmm Perhaps they actually can speak or see. Mm-hmm. The monitor just isn't functioning properly. Mm hmm. Hmm. I guess people with prosopagnosia could be suffering from the same thing. I no longer know what you're talking about. Wait, wait, wait a minute. 
Prosa Pig what? What? You've never heard of Prosa Pegnosia? No. Should I have? It's like 14 letters. No. What is it? Well, put simply, it means a condition where the mind can't distinguish between human faces. Oh, I know what that is. In other words, my face would look the same as Clover's or even yours. So they can't remember faces, which is how most people recognize each other. That means that people with prosopagnosia have trouble recognizing even people they're close to. Usually they can make do by associating people with other things. Their voices, their clothes, their hair. Does that mean other people's faces look like uh, blanks? No. No, I don't think so. Well, you've seen monkeys, like in a zoo, right? To you and me, all the monkey faces look the same. Yeah? Even though they've obviously got faces, it's almost impossible for a human to distinguish between them. Mm -hmm. The zoo staff that works with them will learn to identify different monkeys eventually. But you or I couldn't, unless one had a scar or something else to set it apart. Well, that's how people would be to someone with prosopagnosia. Prosopagnosia? Huh. I didn't even know that kind of thing existed. And, um, uh, what were we talking about? The idea that your brain is just an output device, like a monitor. Are you serious about that stuff? Not really. I was just kidding for about half of it. Well, what about the other half? <laughs> It's more like what you said for the last time around, Lotus. My goodness. Well, I guess I was just adulting. Mm hmm. <sighs> Not funny. <laughs> it's nothing more than a story I made up out of boredom. I take it seriously. It was the first thing that came to mind, and I just talked about it to kill time. But, looks like I don't need to talk anymore. Why? I don't have to kill time any longer. Why are you killing me? Oh, then you finished that brute whatever thing? I certainly did. And let's see what we got. <laughs> Piece of cake. The screen changed again. What the hell is that? No idea. Looks like a puzzle. Huh? Uh, aren't you gonna, I don't know, do more computer stuff? No, I can't do any more. It won't let me do any more programming. See? The keyboard. Nothing. Interesting. Were you supposed to get in through brute force then? Does that mean that a third of the time, if Lotus did not come in here, that which was a third of the time, that we would be unable to get through this room? So, there's nothing more I can do. Um... Well, I guess I'll leave this to you then, Junpei. What? Let me take a break, all right? I did my part. Yeah, uh, well, I guess you're right. Thanks, Lotus. No problem. And make sure you know when you should thank people. Oh. Now, I better take care of this myself. No more relying on anyone else. Yeah, we got this. I could have done that without the hint from uh, Clover. Unless it required, I don't know, something exact like that. I don't know. I could have done that though. Ah. Uh, I solved it. Did you hear a noise just now? Yeah, I did. It sounded like something unlocking. Where did it come from? Could be anywhere, it could even be right here. Look, Junpei, the lights on the lockers are gone. Then we must have unlocked it from the computer puzzle. There's more than one key in here. This one is small and looks like it goes to some sort of machine. And this one has the earth symbol on it. I think the earth symbol matches a keyhole on the A deck. Well, if that's the case, we probably don't need the earth key, right? Alright then, earth key. And I'll just tuck you away deep in my pocket. Now as for the other key... 
activation. I wonder what it acts. Hey, Junpei, do you have a minute? We've got nothing but time here, except we only have nine hours. I don't know how many, maybe like four or five hours left. What's up? I, um, I wanted to ask you something. Anything, Clover? You're probably my favorite from the beginning. Hmm? Junpei, you went into door five with my brother, right? This changes based on... Does everything change? Oh... This is too complicated. Did you hear him say, like, anything weird? Huh? Well, let me think. Sorry, Clover. I can't really think of anything. I mean, he did mention that his hearing exceeds that of a regular person, or something like that, but that's about it. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, wait a minute. Hmm? Look, I, I don't know if I should ask you things, but if you don't mind, uh, I was hoping you could tell me if, uh, is Snake, uh, I mean, was he born? You're talking about his eyes? Yeah. No, he wasn't born blind. Oh. When he was a kid, he got in an accident. Mm. A really bad car accident. He couldn't see after that. This is where the display comes back. His brain just got damaged, and his eyes just pretended to stop working. And his arm. His arm? His arm? Yeah. My brother's left arm is, um, it's not like a normal person's arm. Is it prosthetic or something? I never noticed anything weird about it. It's fake. It's not a real arm. The accident hurt him really bad. To save him, they, they had to cut off his arm. Oh. Did I not notice? Well, I guess it is just sprites. Hmm. It'd be harder to notice something like that through sprites, yeah. <sighs> Unless someone just liked to stare at their hand or something. Uh. Even if it was the wrong hand. Is that all you wanted to ask me? Look, I'm, I I'm sorry for making you talk about all that painful stuff. It's not that. What's not that? What? Junpei. Thank you so much for everything. Whoa, what's all this been? Also, I'm, I'm sorry I messed up. Hey, we can talk about this when you get out, okay? Just hang on, Clover. I'm gonna get you out of there right away. Yay! First time I've actually seen a genuine smile out of her. <laughs> this key, the shape sure makes it look like it goes in this machine. Alright, I'm turning it on in the next episode. So until then, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe or whatever. And when we come back, I might actually talk to Clover again, but from the timeline where I didn't, uh, snake, snake, you know what I'm trying to say? Probably not. Where I, where I went in the four door instead of the five door. Probably going to do that. So look forward to that conversation in the next episode. Till then, see ya.